hello welcome back all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to define new sequence for our model so we are already have developed the new model that is hospital.vision and we have defined its for view and menu and all so now we will see how to define new sequence so coming to the sequence if i go to the sales here you can see if i open the sales we can see a sequence number is coming for all the new records created suppose if i create new quotation right now it's new so if i create a quotation you can you can see a sequence number will generated automatically you can see here so 037 so let's see how we can create sequence for our model so we'll go to the pie charm and we'll open our custom module that is om hospital uh, and i will go to the hospital.py file that is where we define the hospital.patient model so we have to add new field here for storing the value of the sequence so i will refer the sales module itself so if i go to the sales module if i go to the sales module where is sales yeah sales is here and if i open models uh, yeah a dot sale dot py here you can see uh, a field named menu a field named name name equal to fields dot cap yeah name of this what is this say what let me search for the field sale dot order inside this there is a field name yeah i will copy this so and i will paste it inside the uh, here in our model so i will change the name to another names as we already have a name here so i'll change this name seek uh, string as order reference required to copy false read only and i'll remove this attribute now and i did set a default value as new so here we are using this we have to import it here okay, okay. so default value set to new i will correct the indentations okay so we have added a new field for storing the sequence that is name sequence it's a type of char and string as order string order reference required to copy files etc now we have to create a sequence so for that uh, it will be done in xml file so i will go to the back end um, load directory Odutel. this is custom i will create here a new folder named data data folder then inside the data folder i'll create an xml file and i'll give the name as sequence.xml or you can give the name as you need like data.xml sequence.xml like that you can give so i have added a new folder and place the xml file inside it so inside this xml file i will define the sequence so i will go to the sales module again okay sales module and more sales yeah here in the data folder you can see the sequence for the sale order so i will copy this file Control c Control c and i will paste it in our xml file Control v so this is how we can define a new sequence as data here you have to give data no update equal to one because once you install this module and when you upgrade the module there is no need to execute this file so you have to give no update equal to one so sequence i'll change idea sequence hospital patient hospital underscore patient model IR sequence name patient sequence and you can give a code that is hospital sequence so based on this uh, sequence we will call it from the python i will change it as hospital dot patient sequence for better understanding so i give the code as hospital dot patient dot sequence and prefix instead of so that is for sale order i will give hp for hospital then padding the company id equal to false so i have created an xml file and defined a sequence inside it so i have to call this xml file as i have created new xml file i have to call it in the inside the manifest file so i will go to the manifest file and i will call it here control d that is inside data file data slash sequence.xml sequence.xml file so i have called the file inside the manifest file now we have to add this uh, field inside the view because we have to view it in the front end so i will go to the patient.xml file patient.xml file before that let me check the sale order more sales view sale module if you go to sale 
models what is views yeah views is here so if you take the sales view and if you take the form you can see sale okay what is sale order form okay like this you have you want so i'll copy this and i will paste it to put it inside the our xml file that is our form viewer we have defined a form view that is patient.xml so in the patient.xml file i have added the new field our new field is we have already defined the new field is name sequence so i copy this name and paste it here inside this name sequence so i will add this sequence into the tree view also so this is our tree view i have added this field there so right now we have defined a new field for displaying the a sequence and in the xml we have defined new sequence and the new field is added into the view also now we have to create the create the or uh, we have to assign each sequence to this field during the creation so for that uh, i will do one more thing i will from here i will copy diff create okay we have to override the create method so i will paste it here so we have to create we have to soup, uh, override the create method so i will copy the unnecessary lines which is not necessary for us and copy the class name and put it here so here what we have done is this is the code for supering bar overriding the create method so create method is overrided uh, this is a syntax result super class name class name self create values so this is how you can suppose i will cut it here control x so this is how you can super a create method diff create result super class name this is syntax for supering the create method so and then i will add some extra codes for generating the sequence so i will copy the field name to where we have to store the name where we have to store the sequence if vals dot get name equal to new compared in vals this is not necessary for us and name sequence vals dot name equal to self dot env as equals next by code this is gone here yeah. alignment issue uh, let me arrange this at a pay multi Type model. There is some missing. Let me check. Type model. So I think here is bracket is missing or something is there. Yeah, this is not closed here. So there is also another API is also called, not called. So we have to import the API here. The model dot import API. Okay. So we have super the create method. So I have seen next by code here. We have to specify the code of the sequence so i will open the xml file where we have created the sequence inside the data file we have created the sequence and this is the code we have given for the sequence i will copy it Control c and i will paste it here next by code here we have to specify the code of the sequence okay so this is all about how to add a new sequence you have to define a new field for displaying the sequence and you have to define and create a new sequence in the XML. This is how you can create a new sequence. Add the field to the view. Then you have to override the create method and assign the sequence to the field. So I will restart the service. So I restart the service and I will go to the front end and I will upgrade the module. Go to apps menu and I will upgrade the hospital management module. I have clicked the upgrade button the module is getting loaded okay the module is getting installed okay fine now we will go to the settings and I will activate the developer mode and if I go to settings itself go to settings technical uh, inside here was sequence you can see here sequence and identifies sequence let's check whether the sequence we have created comes here so i'll search for patient 
yes you can see patient sequence so this is what we have right now created from the code so if i go to the xml file you can see patient sequence prefix as hp patient sequence prefix as hp so the sequence is generated successfully now we will test and see whether it is working or not so i will go to the hospital uh, and i will create a new patient and i will give the name age of 35 test test field in the node section fever and i will save it right now you see visible as new once you save it you can see a new sequence automatically be generated that is hp001 so i will create next patient uh, suppose felix with an age of uh, 52 and in the node section this patient like that i have given the value and now i will save it as a sequence will be hp002 hp002 and the same thing we can display visible here so this is all about how to define a sequence for your model if you have any queries you can comment it out we will reply you as soon as possible and please subscribe our channel for more updates regarding auto development and if you have any queries you can feel free to ask us so thank you